It's been shown that patients with dermatomyositis can have circulating antibodies in the blood, which are either completely specific to a certain type of dermatomyositis or associated with dermatomyositis. In order to test for these antibodies, your doctor is going to order a simple blood test. It might take a few weeks to come back. Don't be surprised if it comes back negative. You can absolutely have dermatomyositis with a negative antibody profile. If you were to have a positive antibody profile, the most likely thing is for someone to have one single myositis-specific antibody. And they usually keep that antibody and don't switch to another one. An example would be that if somebody has an MDA5 antibody, it's unlikely that if you retested them, they would have been a TIF1 gamma antibody. So patients can have no antibodies, they can have one antibody, and sometimes rarely they can have multiple antibodies. But we don't always expect that to happen.